Hey guys, it's your boy the King of NYC with you again, and um, <clears throat> for this video, I'm actually bringing you guys something a little different. Um, as you all know, I put a video up on my channel like a couple of days ago where I basically presented to you guys a bunch of artwork that I was thinking of putting on my fight stick, and basically asked you guys for your opinions on which one was the best one or the one you liked the most. Now. I modded my stick, and I mentioned this in one of my latest videos. It's my stopping a ghost team video, but basically I modded my stick, but I made several key mistakes, and <clears throat> excuse me, and I made several key mistakes, and what I want to do for this video is basically tell you guys about these mistakes, tell you how to fix them, and you know... I'm doing this in hopes of, you know, making your time modding your stick easier because this was the first time I've modded my fight stick. This is the first time I've ever had a fight stick and it's the first time I've modded one. So, there were definitely a lot of mistakes in the way, but the end product is fucking awesome. I've I've taken a picture of it and the end product is absolutely amazing. I'm really really happy with the way it turned out and especially with all the hard work I had to put into it. All right, now. My first mistake was that I printed the art on shitty paper now don't give me a lot of flack for this but what actually happened was that I asked for because I watched some of DSP's videos and his video basically told you to ask them to lama label your 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 art what you, now if you're not familiar with the process what you have to do is first of all you have to make your art on Photoshop and you know there are tutorials for this all over the internet the best one to go watch is DSP's I'll probably leave a link to it in the description or something uh, then after you make your art, you want to save it on your USB flash drive, and you want to take that flash drive over to your local Kinko's, or like, you know, your digital production stores or whatever, but Kinko is the one I trust the most, and then you go over to your Kinko's, and you t and what DSP told you was to tell them to lama label it on 8.5 by 11 paper. Now, you could tell them that, but apparently the pe the people who the Kinkos in Manhattan are all filled with retards, and it's only through sheer luck that I found one person that wasn't a complete retard and understood what I said. But I had to say it in quite a different way. So basically, what I went up to him and said, I was like, "Okay, I want here's this art right here," and I showed him the art. And um, by the way, if you guys don't know, I I settled on the Wesker art. So anyway, I was like, here's the art. Now what I want to do is I want to make this a giant fucking sticker, basically, and stick it onto something. He's like, what kind of surface? I'm like, plastic. And he's like, um, well, and I'm like, I want it on thick paper, and I don't want it to smudge, and I want to stick it onto something. So he's like, okay, so what we need to do is we're going to need to laminate it, and what we're going to need then, I'm going to have to put an, ade an adhesive on for you. I'm like, perfect, that's what I've been asking for. I had to walk like 50 blocks to find you. And he's like, well, don't worry, I know what you mean. And the guy actually was really, really helpful with the process. So I was like, okay. Uh, <coughs> so he basically uh, laminated it and then put an adhesive on it. And it ended up costing me seven bucks for the art. Now, originally, what my, my okay, let me start over. Early, originally, what well, my mistake was was that I put it on shitty matte paper, like shitty matte label paper. You don't want that. What you want is eight and a half by eleven, uh, an eight and a half by eleven print of your art that's laminated with an adhesive on the back, and that's what you go say to the guy at your at your FedEx Kinkos. You want to go and say, all right, um, I have some high quality art. And I want to print it, and I want it to be eight and a half by eleven, laminate it, and put an adhesive on the back. And at the end of all that, and by the way, you won't be able to pick it up right away. You have to wait a couple hours for them to have it for you. Um, and then, and at the end of that, what you'll get is this basically cardboardish, like it's almost like a plastic, hard plastic sort of picture. The, and if it's done right, the quality should look amazing on it. So yeah, that was my first mistake. Um, and that was really the only mistake I had. And then when I didn't know that I had that shitty quality paper, so what I ended up doing was actually... <clears throat> what I ended up actually doing was that 
I put the matte paper on the display and if you guys remember I put up a picture of what the stick looked like and you saw how it was faded and t torn and shit yeah it's because the lady that I talked to the first time around was a complete moron she didn't understand what I'm saying but the guy actually knew what I wanted so he helped me out a lot and when I and it came time to remod my stick with the n brand new good looking art I uh... I had to go through a really, really long, tedious process of peeling off the shit paper. And what ended up happening was that I had a lot of glue from the label paper on the stick, so I had to use nail polish remover to get it off and stuff, and it was just terrible. So, learn from my first mistake. You go to your FedEx Kinko's, you bring them your USB flash drive with the picture on it. By the way, oh yes, I, I forgot to mention, you have to have it in PDF format. You know, the one for Adobe Reader. That's the one they prefer. Okay, so make sure that your picture is in PDF form. Again, if you have Photoshop, it's very easy. All you have to do is file, save as, and then click uh, save type or something like that, and it should be PDF. So, and you go to your FedEx guy, and you're like, listen, I want to print this on 8.5 by 11, and I want you to laminate it and put an adhesive on the back. And, and you should be good to go. Um... Now my new stick looks awesome, like I said, and it's um, completely beast, and <laughs> I, I'm just so happy with the quality of it. Now, uh, I sh at this point in the commentary, I'm going to be putting up um, a picture which I've edited with red and green arrows. I'm um, not red and green, blue and green arrows. The blue arrow, the blue, the arrows represent my mistakes with cutting the art. Now, if you look at the blue arrow. What you'll actually see is that my is that you'll actually notice a little bit of white under the red button, and that's because I cut too much. And by the way, when you cut, you want to cut with an uh, an exacto knife. Again, I'll be putting a link to a lot of these in the description. So if you guys want to check it out, you got you could go check it out. Also, by the way, I'll be putting up a, a link to where I got my buttons from. Um, they're really good guys, really high quality, really nice people, just great. Um, and if you live in New York, you can actually go pay him a visit right there. But that's I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. Also, um, like I said, if you look at the blue arrow, you'll see that I cut into way too much into it. You wanna avoid that. And if you look at the green arrow, it's actually pointing to the whole thing where the turbo button and the on-off switches are. I messed up cutting that area because I was a bit nervous and I was a bit tired. Because trust me, the worst part about modding a stick is cutting out the art and finding the art and making the art that's just the worst part everything else is so easy <coughs> <coughs> excuse me told you I have a really bad cold now uh, on the topic of money um, it's actually a pretty expensive process I'm not gonna lie the fight stick itself I have the Stoop Street Fighter I have the Street Fighter 4 special edition SE you know whatever you want to call it stick and it's standard edition, not special edition, sorry. And um that stick cost me sixty bucks. So right there sixty bucks. And then the buttons, six buttons cost you about eighteen dollars. And because I bought Sumitsu, they cost me twenty one dollars because Sumitsu are slightly more expensive than Sanwa. Sanwa's goes for about three bucks a button, whereas Sumitsu's three fifty I think. Uh I bought a Sanwa stick. The Sanwa stick with a with a custom ball top is twenty five dollars. So you got 21 plus 25, and that's easily 46 right there. And then I have the seven dollars for the art. So 46 plus seven is 53 plus 60. So you're looking at any something between you know, um, what is it like 110 to 120 dollars into one piece of equipment. But it's something that's going to be yours. It's going to be unique. It's going to be original, and it's going to be great. And the buttons are great quality. The stick is great quality, and it's just something that I highly recommend. One like once you're sure that you're you know because when you f when you buy a fight stick you know you're pretty much sure that you're gonna use it that you're f serious about fighting games or at least pretty you know pretty dedicated to them and that I would recommend that as soon as you get used to your fighting stick and used to the controls what you want to do is you want to go and mod your stick right away because the American parts are shit and you really 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 feel the difference when you when you see it. So yeah, um, it is an expensive process. It's like I said, it's, it's going to cost you anywhere between, you know, one hundred ten to one hundred twenty dollars. Um, but 
<clears throat> the, the product is great and it's worth a lot of work again I'm warning you right now the hardest part about all this is the artwork it's a complete nightmare to cut the artwork and cutting the artwork actually requires you to get an exacto knife which is really heavy duty because the the, the lamination makes the the art like thick and stiff almost so you're not gonna be looking forward to that step of the process but everything else was just a blast so you know I hope this video helps you out some with um with some concerns you might have um like I said I'll leave a bunch of links in the description to help you guys out and if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to leave them in the comments or send me a private message or anything I'll be more than happy to help you guys out cuz that's what I'm here for anyways it's been your boy and I'm signing out peace